Oh, I forgot. This is the segment where David brings up every game I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. Well, there's a lot this week, okay? <laughs> so bear with me here. All right, let's hear it. Let's start in the Big Ten with Iowa, who is a six-and-a-half-point favorite going to Maryland. Now, here's where I'm leaning because Maryland, I know, has looked bad. But who's playing quarterback for Iowa? Because last week it didn't look good against UCLA for them. Sullivan. So I'm well, but it didn't look good. No, he's not a thrower. He's more of a runner. Yeah. So I'm thinking plus six and a half for Maryland in that game. I like turtles. This is actually there's a complete breakdown of this game on Cash the Ticket. But yeah, I think if you did it, I'm pretty sure David's computer just blew up. Listen, bottom line, if you did it, I'd go Maryland. Games in College mm-hmm. Park. It's in your backyard. Okay. I like turtles. <laughs> This is, hey, Maryland. I bet you can get a better number live, though. Be honest with you. You could wait, get a better number live than six and a half. Go ahead. Go to the second game. The second game, Arizona at TCU. TCU is 11 and a half point favorite. But Zona's defense on the road has given up 56 points yeah. and 41 points the last two road games. So I'm leaning there. TCU minus 11 and a half. Just take the over. I have no opinion on the game. Both those teams over are, for sure. Both yeah. those teams are corpses as far as the season and what's happened. I got nothing for you. No, but T, uh, Arizona's defense. Yeah, I, I, I would be safe saying the eleven and a half for T, TCU. Yeah, I would do that. Next game on the list. Let's go to the ACC. Okay, we got Pitt, who <laughs> did wonderful for Why me last week in that game. Pitt at Louisville. Louisville no. is an eight point favorite, but again, Pittsburgh is still dealing with their quarterback situation. Their starter is out. Their backup didn't look the greatest, and he didn't get protection no. at all last week. Holstein so, stinks. Yeah, so Louisville uh, minus eight there is what I would go with. Yeah, if you forced me to. But, David, again, you're picking games I could never be involved in. But, yeah, go ahead. Go cards, go. See, After a bad loss, come home, get right. See, I would say, uh, and, and, and for Pittsburgh, I wonder if it's going to be one of those games where Clemson beat them twice, where yes. they just didn't get over the fact that – you know what? This was going to be the game that showed everybody we're the top. Wait, we're not. Or or they're fraud-ass losers. And that's what I'm saying. Possibly. There is, there is that. No, no. It, it's it's kind of like Indiana this week. This is the game that if we win this, we shut everybody up. But if we lose, oh, we got to eat uh, humble pie. And then I don't expect, you know, Jeff Brom, I don't think his team's going to come out poorly after losing to Stanford. That I think was they're gonna a be angry. meltdown of biblical yes. proportions at Stanford last yes. week. They were up 14 in the fourth quarter. Then you set up the game-winning field goal after uh, like a personal foul, a player drop-kicked an official in the jaw. I mean, chaos. Huh. And then a false, and then a offsides gave him another five to move it from 58 to 53. And you said Stanford didn't belong in the ACC. That's they right. They still did. don't belong in the ACC. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of pride in those nerds. <laughs> All right, now this game. Go tree, go. I mean, <laughs> I know what you're going to say. I, I already know it, okay? Uh, number seven, Alabama is going to Oklahoma. Bama. Alabama's favored by 13 and a half, but I'm leaning Oklahoma here. <laughs> That's 13 and a half no. here. Here's why. Because I just think they, they still a defensive-minded team. They're terrible. And they're be- okay. I know. You I, can try I'm trying. To it. David, there's so many other games you can bet. I, if you force you to play it, you got to take Bama. Bama's got to put up a number. they got to win. They're in the beauty pageant. Oklahoma has shown no ability to win football games. Their offense is lifeless. And look, just look at how they played at Missouri. Look at how that game finished. And I, I can't. And I would also say this. I think Alabama is seriously trying to make a late push for Milrow in the Heisman talk. So they're going to do everything they can to showcase him. A lot of the quarterback runs. Yeah. David, Alabama, roll tide. Before I head over to the SEC, let's touch on this game because I'm hoping for it. I think I'm going to lean this way for it because I don't believe in Indiana. <laughs> but as Ohio State a twelve point favor right now over Indiana, yes, I think they're gonna they're gonna murder Indiana. Me too. Indiana strength the schedule one oh six. Who's your best win? Michigan. Who's the best team you played? Michigan. You've had a zillion games at home. You played no one in the non con. Now you're facing a team that might be might be the best team in America. Yes, I'm concerned about the left tackle situation at Ohio State. Better. Yes, McLaughlin hurt the kid from Alabama tore his Achilles last week. So they're down their left tackle and center. I just, I've had enough of the Indiana crap. You don't play anybody, and your first big test is going to be in the shoe in November. Have a blast. Give me Ohio State. Here's where I'm going to take Indiana and the points. Indiana, historically this year, fast starts. Ohio State, 
slow starts, even at home. Oh, I like they that. They went up against Marshall. They went up with a lot of teams, put up points against them, and then they're fighting their way to come back. I think if you give Indiana a little bit of encouragement and they start believing, wait, we got a chance to beat Ohio State and Columbus, I, I think that Signetti can use that as motivation to get this going. I think the Michigan game was a wake-up call for them. So, yeah, if you're going to give me Indiana and 12 points, I'll take that. And here's the game, Mike, that you mentioned yesterday that I want to hit on for the SEC. It is number 15, Texas A&M at Auburn. Yep, They are, Texas A&M, <laughs> a two-and-a-half-point favorite against Look, Auburn? Auburn is responsible for the most painful loss of my season when I had them against Oklahoma, and they're up 10 with like seven minutes to go. Peyton Thorne threw maybe the worst pick six of the season. Auburn all year. Their defense is really good. Offensively, they create, there it is. they create explosive plays, but holy hell, no team shoves their own head up their ass more than Auburn with the crazy turnovers and the nonsense. But yet, there's that number. Here's the problem. For AM, who do you got next week? You got Texas. Texas, yes. It's a look ahead spot. It's also at night on the road, and Auburn needs it for a bowl game. Hugh Freeze is coaching for his job. God help me. Give me Auburn. a and is also missing their starting running back, Le'Veon Moss, which could be a factor in that game as well. Yeah. Give me Auburn. Oh, God. <laughs> what have I done? I have no idea. But let me ask you about this game Oh, Rico was talking to you, and you ignored yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, oh, so, no, no, I'm so no, no. sorry, Rico. I didn't know if you Rico. had more games because I had two games that I wanted to talk about. But I have I a couple more. Your... Okay, so I'll let you finish. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to the uh, Big 12 here with uh, BYU at – Arizona State. Arizona State is favored by three points right now, but Sparky. BYU is supposed to be the better team, right? No, no it's the same thing. BYU is a complete fraud. They're p- complete con artists. Go look at the metrics. Then you just factor in regression to the mean. They got so lucky with turnovers all year last week. Bit them in the ass a little bit finally. Oh, wait. A pooch punt bounced off your player, not the opposition. Rhett's laugh blows as a quarterback. It, it, please. Arizona State, they got the running game with Scadaboo. They got Sammy Levitt, the kid from MSU, will hit you with his feet and his arm. They got a seven-foot-tall receiver. And defensively, I can't tell you they're great. I'll just tell you, they kill people. Every game I watch Arizona State, Rico, at least two personal fouls. They're out here suplexing people, David. The fact that BYU is a three-point underdog going down to Tempe, and it'll be sold out. Everyone's excited about ASU football. I, I gotta I gotta go with Dillingham as much nice as I want to punch him in the face. I gotta go with him. It'd be a nice eighty degree afternoon, sunny. So yeah, this is uh yeah take ASU the Sun Devils. So what that was not one of your games, Rico? No, it was not, David. What uh, do you got? It was actually a, another Big Twelve game. What? Colorado. Colorado uh, at yeah. Kansas. Colorado three points at Kansas. All right, we spent a lot of time on this one. We cashed the ticket. I'll be brief. Here's my issue. There's two data points for Colorado that really stick out to me, and I go, okay, are they really better? They shut down Texas Tech's running game. They just shut it down. and they Because Taj Brooks, one of the best running backs in America, then they shut down UCF's running game. And you go, wait, is Colorado good? Then the other side of things, Kansas has been hammering people with their ground game. Yeah. But their ground game got shut down by BYU last week. It's also at Arrowhead, the numbers sitting at a flat three. And I, I have been all over the Dirty Birds the last month. Now I feel like I got to get off the bus before the bus drives off a cliff. I kind of wonder if I should go with Colorado here. And then the one last one, Mike. This is I don't know if you broke this one down on your cast or ticket. Uh, what game did Fresh we? off of their victory over MSU. Oh dear. Illinois, one point favorite. Number twenty five, Illinois, one point favorite at Rutgers. This is the Ferris wheel at Chernobyl. I I no thank you. I right, cookies dove into this. He wants to bet Rutgers. I go, God bless. I, I not I have no opinion. If you forced me, I'd go Rutgers. Why? Illinois is not good. We made them look good. They're not good. But that game, bro, that's friends and family only. If you don't know somebody <laughs> on that team, I don't know how you're watching that crap. What channel is that even on? What is that on? Like prison CCTV, like closed circuit television? Illinois Rutgers. Peacock. Yeah, that's on yeah, Peacock. That's right where that At belongs. Noon. What are the streaming numbers for that? 18 people. 18 million. No way. In hell. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Thank you, David. That Tremendous is job. Your college football blitz.